How do you assess recovery at the local level, meaning at the level of the muscles? Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about soreness and getting better, stronger, more repetitions, et cetera. And then at the systemic level, at the level of the nervous system. And I'd love for you to tell us about the, uh, the tool that, again, I learned from you, which is actually using a physical scale, because it turns out that tool is also actively being used for assessing cognitive decline and cognitive maintenance and cognitive function in people with Alzheimer's and dementia. How do you, how would you kind of dictate when a muscle's recovered? But as far as the, the, uh, the systemic, you know, recovery, I think there's a lot of ways, you know, people talk about resting heart rate measured in the morning, um, <clears throat> all different kinds of, of, um, you know, core temperature and things like that, that might become altered in a state of, of uh, non-recovery. But grip strength is very, very much tied to performance and recovery. And when I was at the Mets, we used to actually take grip strength measurements as a baseline in spring training all the time. Now, obviously, as a baseball player, you're gripping a bat, your pitcher, you're gripping a ball. Like, you know, grip, having good grip strength is important. So if we notice somebody had a very weak grip, it's just a good focal point of a specialized training component to determine overall recovery. Your grip strength is pretty highly correlated. So we have found that with one of those scales, those old fashioned bathroom scales at like uh, Bed Bath & Beyond or whatever you can get. And it's a great tool for just squeezing the 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 uh the scale with your hands and seeing what type of output you could get um and i think we we all can relate to this when you just visualize imagine the last time you were sick or that when you or just try this you know the next time you wake up in the morning when you first wake up in the morning you're still groggy try to squeeze your hand try to make a fist as hard as you can you're gonna sit there angry at your fist because it won't contract as hard as you know it can you don't have the ability to just create the output and that is because in that state, you're still sleepy, you're still fatigued, you know, you're, you're not even awake at, at, at the, you know, the, the whole level at this point. Well, that is the that is still a, 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 an actual phenomenon that happens that, you know, a, a lack of recovery or a lack of wakefulness or whatever you want to say is, is going to lead to a decreased output there. So when you start to measure that on a daily basis, you can get a pretty good sense of where you're at. And I think when people start to see a drop off of 10% or so, or, or even greater of, of their grip output, um, you really should skip the gym that day because I don't think there's much you're gonna do there that's going to be that that beneficial, even if it is the day to train legs or whatever day it is. Mm -hmm. I, I love this tool. It's simple. It's low cost. If you can find such a scale, <laughs> I guess you could also find one of those grippers that, um, and you could do this in a very non-quantitative mm -hmm. way, um, but better would be a scale where you could actually measure yeah. how hard you can squeeze this thing at a given time of day. Uh, it draws to mind just a little uh, neuroscience factoid. In the world of circadian neurobiology, one of the consistent findings is that in the middle of your nighttime, you know, they'll wake people up and they'll say, do this test right. in the laboratory. They use a different apparatus, but it's essentially the same thing. And in the middle of the night, grip strength is very, very low. Yeah. And at, you know, mid morning grip strength is high. And as the body temperature goes up into the afternoon, grip strength goes higher and higher and higher. And then it drops off. There's right. a circadian rhythm and grip yeah. temperature. So you probably want to do this at more or less the same time each day if you're going to use it. But it, I think it's brilliant and um, in its simplicity and its directness to these upper motor neurons, because that's really what it's uh, assessing. Your ability, again, it's about the ability to contract the muscles hard. If you can't do that, you're not going to get an effective work.